So let's get started today with our first video for our underpinning project. Um, in this first video, we're going to show you how we set up the framework um, and how we put in um, mobile home anchors and how we put in slide supports. Now with the framework, we put treated um, lumber pieces of strips of wood around the footprint of our camper because we wanted to put two inch foam board in where at the bottom it went up, it went against the, uh, the, the, the boards at the bottom and then at the top it goes against the, the camper frame around the trim as you can kind of see behind me. Um, and we wanted to do that just so we had a nice secure fit and we wanted to um, help our energy costs through the winter time. And I can go ahead and tell you straight up front, we loved this project and we'll talk a little bit more about it in this video. And so stay tuned and see how we get set up to put in the foam board underpinning and then watch the second part of our video or the second video and see how we actually put in the foam board. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please like if you do and see if this is going to be your next project. It's tiny time with M&M. Let's talk about camper underpinning. In preparation for cold winter weather, let's underpin our camper and go from this to this. This made a huge difference, at least in our opinion, in our overall energy cost and just comfort level over the winter. Say no to cold and damp campers by putting a vapor barrier on the ground underneath the footprint of your camper prior to putting in your underpinning. Use slide stabilizers to add just a little bit more stability to your camper. Slide stabilizers will help reduce the bounce that your camper might have, but it will also help prevent sagging when you have your camper in a long-term setup. Now, just like with the columns, make sure that you have a flat level foundation underneath your stabilizers, and then adjust the stabilizer so that the top support rests just underneath the slide frame. At the risk of sounding repetitive, don't forget to check the level of your stabilizers. You don't want your stabilizers to be on an, an uphill grade and to accidentally you know, fall over. If they fall over, then they are not going to be able to do their job effectively. So check that level again. And just like when you're washing your hair, don't forget to rinse and repeat. Basically continue doing this process until you have all of your slide outs stabilized. So we decided to underpin our camper and we utilized, decided to utilize two inch thick foam and we wanted to anchor it both at the top and the bottom. So at the bottom we installed, we cut and installed treated uh, like one by one, one and a half by one and a half boards and you used rebar just, you know, pounded down into the ground and some regular pipe strap, metal pipe strap, and some screws to bolt it to it, or to attach it to it. See there, you can see the little pipe strap and the screws, and the rebar. So here you can see the outline of the inch and a half boards that match the outline of where we're going to put in the vertical boards. These are moved in two inches from the uh, area the outside of the camper from where we are going to put them so that the boards themselves will fit vertically in behind the trim of the camper and up against the boards. So improve, for improved stability of the camper, we decided to put in uh, commercially available mobile home anchors. These are anchors that are designed for mobile homes. Or, uh, you have to be screwed into the ground. You can do it uh, manually or uh, have some type of a mechanical or ma machine means to which with to do it. But uh, once you have them in position, you know, attach the straps to somewhere secure on the camper and then 
tighten them up like they're, like they're designed. The, <clears throat> the long-term reason for this is, you know, just campers are light relative to, you know, a home and they're not really attached to the ground very well. So this is the one of the best ways to um, add security to your camper from against high winds. In our underpinning part one video, we began our project by laying a vapor barrier underneath the footprint of our camper. We added slide out stabilizers, mobile home anchors, again all for, for extra stability for our camper. And then we added the wood supports around the bottom footprint of our camper, all in preparation for adding our foam board. Stay tuned for underpinning part two.